Hey all and welcome back to another video of us explaining how our designs work. Um, so in this video we're going to talk about the 7 segment uh, CrossFit timer, functional fitness timer, whatever you want guys want to call it, um, how we built it and so we're taking you step by step again like we did with the drone. So in this video I want to chat about the 3D printer part, how we put it together, um, things to watch out for and then next week we'll talk about the programming and how to get functional. Uh, so this is just the idea of it. We've got the seven segment display and these will light up to make numbers So this is all 3d printed. So if you have a 3d printer, you can do this at home as well um, The microcontroller we're using is the ESP32 as most of the time. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi Bluetooth So if we ever want to make a phone app, it will work quite well So yes, as you can see my hair is still going strong Four more weeks and we are there uh, but let's get started. This is what we get after we 3D print um, the 7 segment display housing. So you can see this is the bottom, this is the top, and this is the clear 3D print filament that you're going to click in here and this was going to indicate the light so what we normally do is we first start with the bottom because you see the gaps here is where we're going to put the LED strips so I've got these LED strips called WS21B and there as you can see they've got three three connectors your ground your digital input and output and your 5 volts um, these can run on 3.3 but it's advised to run at 5. Uh, in this project, I do run it on VBAT, which is 3.7, and it works fine. So what we'll do now is we'll just cut in strips of 3 or 2. So you can see that there is connections here. So here you can actually start cutting with a scissor, and later on just solder wires on to fix the uh, train or this circuit, should I say, because you're going to daisy chain these LEDs. So I'll show you guys. So I'm going to cut it in 2 and start basting it. Now we have seven strips and they will go into the pockets like this. Um, so the direc direction of values are very important. What we're going to do is these segments are going to be connected alongside each other because we're going to have four of these, four or five. We're still playing with ideas. So that means I'm going to need wires from the outside world back into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my input for this side is this side and I'm going to go down, up, there we go, and then out there because you can see these LED, the LEDs has marks on it and these are the arrows so you have to connect the LEDs in one direction so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this points down because my wire is going to go in here and down so this line has to point down so these LEDs actually have a sticky tape at the back so you can just take that off, make sure it points down and paste it here. So now this line goes down, I need a line goes like this, line up, line up, line down, down, left. So let's do that. And that's it. So this is our input this side. It's going to go down, down, up, 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 down. And this will go to my next seven segments. 
So input from the ESP32 with my digital input pin and my ground in 5 volts and then I'll go like this and then out to my next 7 second display. So let's solder it. So always guys try to keep it color coded. So I've got some wires here. I'm going to use red for power, black for ground and then green for my digital uh, communication wire. So this is how we soldered it. Um, you can see this is where the wires come in from the other side, goes down, goes up and comes across and then to the next seven segment display down and up. So you can see you need to make sure that your wires are quite neatly soldered because you're going to put something over it and then you, can't, you cannot have the wires outside of these uh, extrusions should I say because um, you want to make sure that your light doesn't escape to the next side of the segment. So when the light goes on you want to make sure that all the light stays in its own little bubble. Um, so this I can solder guys and always try to keep your colors um, let it make sense. If you want to make ground blue that's fine but make sure all your grounds all over is blue. Um, just normal convention conviction. <laughs> normal way of working is black is normally ground your red is normally power and then you can choose a color for the signal. Um, so input on the right here all the way up and then it loops like that. Nice and easy. Now let's look at the top that's going to be on top of it. So this is the top of the 7 segment display. As you can see we've got some holes here where we're going to screw in the back. So the back we just saw with the LEDs. We'll go on top of here, we'll screw it at the back and it should be stable. You also see here's holes for the wires to escape to go to the next side. We also have holes here inside that we can screw together the 7 second displays. Um, so the idea is the light to shine near, but light does not go through normal uh, 3D print filament. So we got this special clear filament um, so we can see the light. So this is specially made size wise to fit in here. So we'll just click it in like this. And that's it. So we're going to program it so it only lights up certain aspects to be able to make a number. So you can see there in front, uh, it's a different color than the rest. You can play with the tolerance to make it tighter or looser, uh, but that's depending on your 3D printer. So let's see how it looks when you combine it uh, next to each other, the top. So this is the top. As you can see, you screw it in on the side to make it one big, big thing. One thing I haven't spoken about is the model part. It's also just for the semicolon, the model of the numbers, so you can flash for seconds. But yes, so it, you just screw it in next to each other. Your back will go on top of here, and then your light will shine through. These are normal M2.5 um, bolts with some nuts. Uh, you can just thread it through. Uh, quite nice to work with. The same for the back, it's 2.5. So that's it. That's how we mechanically built up the 7 segment display to get it ready to program and be a timer. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, uh, please subscribe, like, uh, thumbs up, all that stuff. Um, also hit that bell because next week I'll release the video of the programming and make everything available so you can just take the code, upload it and use it as a CrossFit timer. So we will be using it as a CrossFit uh, timer. Uh, but you can use it for functional fitness at the gym, in your garage, doesn't matter. So yes guys, have a fantastic night, fantastic week, where you are, stay safe. And I'll see you guys next time, bye. We started a bit um, adapting the code a bit, so now in this example we are just trying to create a working scenario of 30 seconds work and 10 second rest. So when I push the button, it starts with 1 to 30 seconds. Um, so what we're going to have to work on is just the diffusing of the light. Um, you can see some blinking lights that we need to fix in the code, but the practice behind it is working quite nicely. Uh, we know why it's blinking, <laughs> it's just things we have to change. But as you can see, the time is running up to 30 seconds, and then when it hits 30 seconds, your working time is done, then you need to rest for 10 seconds, it will turn blue, Boom, and will count to 10 seconds and then it should be done. So this is a nice way for you to just work for 30 seconds, rest for 10 seconds, work for 30 seconds, rest for 10 seconds. So we're busy adding some functionality to it.
uh, while going. Um, so this weekend we will make a YouTube video how we built it, 3D printed, the LEDs, things like that. And then we're, when the code is done with all the functionality, probably next weekend we will release everything so you guys can build this at home. We're also adding another number here on the side, um, just so you can count the number of reps and stuff. So if anyone has extra features you think we should add, so we're thinking about AMRAPs, normal up, down, um, things like that. Uh, yeah, comments below, but that's a pretty cool project. This will be freely available. So next thing we're working on is diffusing the light and just fixing the blinking because it's quite annoying. Have a great day, guys.